what is up guys welcome to the vlog just to update you guys my back is still pretty messed up <clears throat> but um, I had to go out to pick up something Yes, my back is pretty uh, pretty jacked up still. I'm still crooked. It still hurts when I walk. But I'm out because ever since I got that Canon 80D, guys, I've been talking to you about, or I've been saying, I've been saying I want a 10 to 18 millimeter lens from Canon or a 10 to 22, or anyways, I wanted that 10 millimeter lens um, just so that I could get a wide angle shot on my camera. Well, recently I, I've been trying to, I've been selling stuff to get to get ready for lens so I have enough for the lens now now I've been eBaying it I've been bidding I'm still bidding on over 20 lenses so I'm pretty sure if I keep bidding I'll pick one up for pretty cheap I found one brand new from tri-state cameras um, for $249 plus free shipping $249 free shipping brand new so I had a baseline price now for what I want to pay Obviously if I buy used I want to pay less than that. I know Craig. I don't know what's wrong with people that think their lenses are worth more than brand new um, I see a whole bunch of them on sale for 250 to 300 dollars. They're brand new for 249 and it's free shipping I said I'll offer you 200, 200 for lens 200 for lens. That's a fair used price 200 for lens and plus I've seen them um, end bid for 200 on eBay like new. but then I went up to 220 I was like screw it just give it to me for 220 with the hood and we'll be done with it and I just I did I didn't want to talk to him anymore I was like this is this is stupid at 225 with a lens that's $24 away from a brand new one I was like screw it I'm probably gonna win one off eBay and I'll be done with it because I'm only bidding like new or new on eBay and so I didn't really care I was like you know whatever and then he gets back to me and goes, 2.30 with the lens head. And he said, I had to pay for the lens head. Now I felt, I felt kind of sorry for the guy because I understand that you had to pay money for the lens head. Um, and he said it was brand new and all that, or whatever. So I was like, okay, fine, I'll do it for 2.30. And it was a done deal. So now I'm headed down to um, basically Westwood. Uh, it says it's still in Los Angeles, but it's Westwood. I'm headed down there to pick up the lens for $230. So did I come up, guys? I mean, it's $249 brand new, free shipping. Uh, I, I got this one for $230, but then it includes a hood, but it's used. But it's like new. I don't know, at this point, I just want the freaking lens. If something happens, I go there and something, something I feel something is a little off. I should have brought my camera to test out the lens, but eh. So I'm here at the coffee bean where me and my wife, when we were dating, used to always come. She used to live around here. Brings back memories. So yeah, 2.30, whatever. All right guys, so I got the lens. The guy was really cool. Um, we ended up sitting down talking for like 30 minutes. But he, here it is. Um, this is the Canon 10 to, 8, 10 to 18 millimeter with image stabilization. That is it right there. With the uh, lens head, the only thing is I thought this would be a, uh, a Canon lens head, but it's not, it's just a g generic one. Back home. Yes, we snapped back home. It took a little bit over an hour to get back. The traffic was pretty bad, but I did grab some McDonald's on the way. I already ate that right now, right before I started filming. Um, yes, let us, let us get to the point of this video is, basically I'm gonna compare this lens that's on here right now, and let me snap a photo that was just my, my phone. All right, so the lens I'm using right now is the 18 to 55 with the fisheye adapter or the wide angle adapter. And yes, this looks pretty decent, but how is it gonna fare to my newly purchased 10 to 18 millimeter lens here? Just gotta take care of some, take care of some stuff here. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit of management goes a long way with these lenses. The glass is super clean, guys, super clean. All right, so this is much, a much smaller package. This will allow me not to use that adapter. Now let's see if the quality changes here. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it out to this one guys this at its widest angle is right here but you guys see these little little gaps there right like you see these little black rings so this is the problem with adapters is it, it, it kind of gives you this weird effect and the corners of this thing just look pretty ugly so what i usually do when i film is i zoom it in just enough 
for the corners to go away. So like right about there. This is perfect. If I zoom in this much, the corner goes away, but I still have the wider angle. Now look carefully at this angle. Look where you can barely see the doorknob right there. And you can see the, uh, you can't really see the end of my TV right there. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna switch on the lens right now. Oh my god. So this is the new lens. And it looks fabulous. My gosh, it is so much more wider angled than I could imagine. So again, before you could only see this doorknob right here, now you can see all the way there. Before you could only see about right up to here, now it does extend all the way down there. To, oh, you can even see the edge of the keyboard over there. This is incredible, incredible. Now let's go ahead and zoom it in a little bit. This is 18 millimeters, guys. So I'm not sure how the clarity is gonna come out on this, but let me zoom this out. Um, yeah, this thing looks beautiful. I think it'd be perfect for landscape, but look, look, look. Now you can see the space I'm working with. It's not that small. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so excited about this thing. This, this thing is awesome and it's stubby. So this was the setup I had before. Again, as you can see, it is much longer uh, because of this, this little adapter. I'm gonna go ahead and pop off this adapter now because I don't need it anymore. But even then, even then, this body itself is just a tad bit longer and if it does extend, it's quite a bit longer. Now, can you get away with not having this lens? Absolutely, this lens is totally not necessary for you to make videos. Um, is it ideal to have this lens? Yes, why? Because you could get so close to the camera, like literally, I am, uh, let's see, yeah. I'm touching the lens right now. I'm touching the lens right now. So I'm less than 12 inches away from the camera. Could you imagine? Can you, should I take a selfie? Should I take a selfie of how close I am to the camera? All right guys, so that that is how close I am to the camera and it looks like I have a fair amount of distance, but it's not. It's not. See, I'm just about touching the lens right now, and that is fantastic. How's it autofocus? It does okay. I can't complain. The face tracking is like neither here or there. But again, this is kind of low lighting situation. The hood. Should I put on the hood? I don't know. Will the hood make a difference? Am I zoomed in or zoomed out? Dang, I look good. Man, I look better. Uh, where are you? Where are you? All right, this is with the lens hood on. I'm not sure if it makes a difference at all. Uh, probably not, but the lens hood will protect nothing. Uh, it just looks cooler. Looks like a little flower. All right guys, so straight off the bat, um, if you don't have the money to get this lens, which, dang it, set me back a heavy penny. A 230 bucks. I know some of you, that's nothing. That's chump change. That's like, shoot, I have that in the glove department of my car type of chump change. But to me, it wasn't, um, it, was, it was a quite big expense, but man, is it worth it. Is it worth it? Yes. But if you can't afford it and you have one of these suckers, these little adapter suckers, um, you know what? You, you're really not sacrificing too much of the wideness. It still gets it pretty wide. Uh, just know that it's going to crop in quite, quite a bit, actually. Um, it's definitely not the same. Uh, you're going to get faster autofocus, more accurate autofocus off the Canon lens without the adapter. Also, the weight of this thing is quite hefty. Uh, the 18 to 55 lens is pretty light, but with them together, they feel like a much heavier lens. You could feel the wiggle on the end, um, especially because you have that lens adapter. It puts a lot of weight on the end of here. But for the most part, yes. You don't need this lens uh, to shoot a video. Again, if you have the 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens, you'll do just fine. This whole package right here, because it was $1,300 for the camera with this lens and a few accessories. 
and then this lens cost me 230 bucks so 1530 dollars um the mic let's just say that sent me back 30 dollars so um it costs to get this set up that is freaking insane uh, as far as just a small youtuber goes if you guys are starting out vlogging you guys don't need the best uh for me i was always into photography Chia! so I, I decided to get me pick me up one of these awesome little lenses and i had a whole bunch of lenses anyways just laying around and cameras and and all that so i i decided just to go with this and i think this is like the perfect package you know i don't shoot 4k i don't see myself shooting 4k but for you vloggers out there again application is everything if you're shooting landscape and you want to show the world then yes this lens is going to be fantastic yes for like architectural stuff you get so much on this frame but if you're a vlogger you'll be hard pressed to get a better camera than this rx100 mark V. this is probably one of the best vlogging cameras of all time um let's see here roman atwood uses this camera Casey and I start to use this camera and whatnot. It is quite literally the best vlogging camera as far as when you picture everything together. If you can't afford that, that one's about $1,000. Then you can step down to the $600, $700 range. Then a Canon G7X Mach 2 is a pretty good camera as well. Oh my gosh, this lens is so beautiful. Are you kidding me? You look, look, look at this. Look at what? You can capture everything. Look at that, look at that. I'm right in front of the camera. I'm like literally two inches away from the camera. Hey! Because it just looks so good. You've been outbidded! Oh shit, I've been outbid on something. Actually, I want to win. No way. I didn't win it. Ah, I lost it by a dollar. So that was what I was bidding on. Um, I lost it by a freaking dollar. And I would have bid way more. It's just, ugh, I can't believe he sniped it from me. I should've just been on my phone, what was I thinking? What? Shipping 10 bucks? I thought I was free. Kinda glad I didn't win that one. <laughs> so let's get back to the lens. Yes, you could get away with a, t a 18 to 55 millimeter lens. If you wanna go a little bit wider angle, you can get one of these wide angle adapters that work perfectly fine for the most part. But is it gonna be the same quality as an actual 10 to 18 millimeter lens? No, it's not. Uh, this one faces my, it tracks my face way faster it auto focuses faster it's a much smaller compact design but again um i mean like 15 to 20 to 30 bucks for this i just say 15 to 30 bucks for this compared to 200 230 to 300 dollars for that lens really for the price um you can't go wrong with one of these adapters guys this is 18 millimeter guys this is this is how it'll look just off the 18 to 55 millimeter lens what a good comparison now with the adapter it takes me right about right about there where you can still see the knob and a part of the tv so this is with the adapter um, if you were to have a 10 to 18 millimeter lens like i said this is plenty this is perfect uh if this is all you want 13.5 millimeters I guess you could say. So again, if this is all you need, which is pr it's pretty good, uh, this this you don't really need this lens. But the great thing about this lens is it goes down to 10. Now this is much wider. This is the widest this will go. And if this is what you're looking for, then uh, get the 10 to 8, 10 to 18 millimeter. That's what it is, guys. All right. So 10 to 18 right here. This is the 18 to, third, 18 to 55 with the wide angle adapter. This is how it'll look. And this is 18 millimeters. So uh, take what you will from that. Hopefully you could decide if this is something that you need or want. All right guys, so this is a side by side of the, uh, the camera lens angles. I didn't move the tripod in any way so Pretty much the camera's in the exact same spot. All I did was uh, change out the lens. So you can kind of get a grasp for which one is wider, how, how clean it is. Um, 
Obviously, the the 18 to 55 millimeter lens has a f-stop of 3.5, which actually lets in a lot more light. And I didn't compensate that in the settings when I was changing out the lens. So you might see a little bit more noise on the 10 to 18 millimeter. Um, if I just lowered the shutter speed, then that noise would just completely disappear. So don't don't uh, judge the lens on that. It's not the lens's fault. But this is a side by side. As you can see, the angles for the 10 to 18 is much much wider. Um, just eyeballing it, you get about 3.5 millimeters, a little bit, 3.5 millimeters of width extra with the actual 10 to 18 millimeter lens. Or as far as for the 18 to 55 with the wide angle and cropping in just to get rid of the little corner black marks will give you just about 13.5 millimeters as far as um, the Canon goes. Now I have no idea what equivalency that is to a, a, a 35 millimeter or like full frame, but whatever it is, all I know is the end result is the 10 millimeter lens is just freaking beautiful. I just have to adjust the settings and it'll look wonderful. Again, what I noticed though with this 10 millimeter lens is that it requires a lot of light. Now usually I'm okay with the sunlight that's coming in from the blinds, but it seems like I need much more light. So I should have turned on that studio light in the back just to light things up a little bit more. But yes. And, and guys, I'm telling you, this lens is not one of the more expensive lenses. That's actually considered the budget line lens. <laughs> lenses get freaking expensive. They go on to thousands of dollars. And, and if you're a pro photographer that's making thousands of dollars, then go ahead and spend your money. But I'm not. I'm making about two cents a month on these YouTube videos. <laughs> On the upside, my wife made $150 so far. It's really up to you. Um, they're all great. I, I can't see a con for either one of them. Um, the 10 to 18 millimeter is freaking fantastic. The only con is the price, I guess. But then again, the price isn't all that expensive when you consider the camera and everything else that goes along with it. Uh, the 18 to 55 with the adapter, again, it's great. For the price, my gosh, you get much wider about 13.5 millimeters in, in width, like equivalent, not, not to 35 millimeters, but to this. Um, yes, and it, it'll, it'll, for the price, it does fantastic. It looks good, everything's fine. Uh, you do get a little bit of that, that fisheye kind of feel with that lens, but again, that, that's totally fine. And just the 18 to 55, if you can't really afford anything else, that's perfectly fine. And again, if you can't afford this camera, then uh, RX100, and if you can't afford that, then, then, then the G7X Mark II, and if you can't afford that, at the bottom line, guys, it's not about gear. It's just about the story you tell, and I've been telling pretty crappy stories because I'm not getting a lot of views. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's, just, it's your content that matters. Uh, most of my, my going out shots are all done on my cell phone, guys. On my cell phone! Can you imagine? Yes, the cell, if you just have a cell phone, you have everything you need to go ahead and, and start video recording. A little bit of future videos that's gonna happen is I actually ordered a lot of cheap headphones, like earbuds. Um, for the sake of doing reviews, uh, especially after that cheap Bluetooth headphone failure, I really wanted to recommend a good pair of earbuds or headphones that were the best bang for the buck. I mean, they're not gonna have brand name. It's gonna be all mostly from China, but it'll sound freaking fantastic. And that's kind of what I'm getting at. I'm getting a couple in. Uh, I, I checked all the reviews and I've only ordered the, re only ordered the headphones that get the best reviews. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great day, great afternoon, great morning, great evening, great whenever you're watching this. And remember, live well, laugh more.